Hi everyone, okay, so today I want to talk to you about um, some life rules that I think some people are forgetting, okay? Is it you? Some life rules. Now, I think one of these I might have said before, but I think I need to reiterate it, okay? Because clearly you ain't getting it. So the first one is, when we're in a supermarket, actually these are both supermarket based, fine. When you're in a supermarket, right, if you've got a full trolley full, yeah, and you pull up to the, the checkout bit, and then someone behind you comes along and maybe they've got a couple of items, you let that person go first. I don't care how much you're in a hurry, if that person's got a couple of items in their hand, like their dinner, and you, you're like, you let them go, you say, do you want to go through, they're going to go, yes, they're going to feel amazing, you're going to feel good, they go through, you've really not lo lost a lot of time, however, if you let that person stand behind you, you'll think, you, you're thinking, oh, I should let them go, so, and if you are that person with the two items, stuck behind somebody with a massive trolley form, you just like, boring into them with your eyes, like, why the hell would you not, because you can't ask, if you ask, then it's a bit of a weird position to put the other person. It's like awkward and they could say no and it's like, really, you were behind them. But common courtesy says you should just let the person go because it like really isn't anything and it, they'll be quaking out there and then you've helped that person along with their day. And if you don't do that, it, you, you're a bad person. You're a rubbish person. So that's one rule in the supermarket. And also, your job in the supermarket checkout bit is to get through as quickly as possible. So please, just think ahead. So like, get out your purse, if you're a woman, or bloke with wallet, whatever. Get your card ready, get your bag ready. Don't, don't get there, then do all your stuff. It's irritating, you've had loads of time waiting in that queue. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just standing there? No. This isn't enjoyable for any of us. We want to get in, get out. Yeah? That's my first one. My next one, and I've definitely talked about this before, but it's becoming like... I'm getting angry about it. Look. The child... The parent and child bays are really for parents with children in a car seat that need to be helped out of the car seat. They're made bigger so that another fully grown adult can stand there open the door and get their child out mostly when they're a baby but even my girls still have to be helped out of the car seat you know whatever they're not really for your 15 year old they're not for even you you know your seven year old your eight year old your nine year old not really although I'll, I'll allow that they're definitely not for your adult child okay that that's not happening and they're not for single men on their own taxi drivers um single women on their own who've just decided that they're too lazy to park a tiny bit further away and they're going to take up the adult the, the parent and child base it's proper proper selfish not a little bit it's not like oh sorry sorry no it's not okay you sorry means nothing to me it's rude and it's irritating because as a parent, you've got to do all that rubbish. You've got to get your kid out the car and you've got to get in the car and try and get them out the car seat. And it's annoying when you've got to then go, oh, especially if they're a baby in like a tiny car seat, you have no idea how irritating that is to get out. If you've got to park in a normal car parking space next to two cars, how can you open the door? You can't fully open the door. Okay. It's proper rude. And they're actually, I think Tesco in the UK are doing, um, they're actually starting to fine people for it or something, or there's some penalisation for doing it, which, well done to them, because what is the point? And people that park in disabled bays, you're disgusting. That, that aren't disabled, obviously. If you're disabled, you can use them. If you're disabled, if you're not disabled and you park in a disabled bay, even if it's for seconds, you're disgusting okay people need those and even if it's an invisible disability that you don't know about you've no idea what that person has gone through and they're there for a reason they're not for you because you can't be asked to walk 100 yards they're not for you so get out of them just able-bodied people adults just park in the right parking bay if i haven't got my kids i promise you now i will not be parking in a kids bay even though i've got car seats in the back and realistically people wouldn't question me on it there's no way i would do that i don't need the i don't need the extra space and i'm perfectly capable of walking and it's not all right and when you challenge these people they're like whatever like you're proper selfish 
So most, so today's rant is basically about, can you just stop being so selfish and just consider other people, please? And people who drop litter as well, you're in there as well. Stop being a knob. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, that's my thoughts for today. Stop being selfish. Think about, you know, the greater good, people around you, the wider, the wider people, and just consider that other people have got stuff going on. I know, like, sometimes you're like, oh, I just want to get in, get out, I'm just going to go to the closest parking space. I know you want to do that, but don't, okay? It's really selfish. So that's my rants for today. Um, I'm sure some parents out there are going to go, oh, yes. Because it's it really actually angers me. And there was a time when I stopped somebody in Aldi car park and said, um, mate, you got a kid? And he went, no. And I went, what you parked in the kid's uh, parenting kid parking bay then? for and he went now this is the most ridiculous one i've ever had he went yeah but it's them immigrants isn't it they park where they want wasn't expecting that didn't see that one coming that one through that was <laughs> that one through me and then went into a screaming racist rant about i don't even know who was in the frame i think it was indian people this time and um, and i was like but mate forget the indians Forget that. You're white and English and you're parked in the par in the kids' parking bay. Parent and toddler one, whatever it's called. Baby, parent, whatever. It's not for him. He didn't have either. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just being lazy. Um, that was weird. That was a weird experience. See, when people have got that anger in their belly, they all relate it back to what they're angry about straight away like that that was a weird one so when you confront them they're properly mental supermarkets need to do something about it though as well they gotta you know hold these people accountable maybe just like a name and shame name and shame them just put their face up oh this person parked in a um parent that that i'm gonna send that to tesco and morrison's and aldi say look just put the picture of them up because they'll feel heartily embarrassed most of them the odd one won't but the rest of them will think oh god cringe all my friends that live around here are going to say that i was really selfish maybe we could put that underneath selfish parker today is maureen who couldn't be asked to walk um anyway that's me done for today see you later peace